Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Miraz and you are watching Physical Fiction. In today's video, we are going to understand and create a script using which we are going to place many trees, I would say hundred of trees with just one single click like this. Let's get started. Okay, to get started with something, we need to have something in our hand, right? Maybe it is a model element, maybe it is a line, maybe it is a wall, maybe it is the curb stone or whatsoever it can be, right? So generally, whenever we are placing trees inside of Revit, we have a 2D drawing available from civil people, right? Or maybe from landscape or somewhere, maybe from civil 3D drawing or maybe it is an AutoCAD drawing, right? Here, I'm not using an AutoCAD drawing or a civil 3D drawing, but rather I'm going to create a model line. And with the help of that model line, I will be placing trees, taking that as a path, okay? It doesn't mean that I am creating using a model line, which is 3D and you will not be able to create that using a detail line no it's not you can create it using line also okay so that's completely fine so let's get started uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a model line right now here uh using a command li i'm going to create a, a spline over here um, just for the path okay and press escape go to 3d let's see this is what i have created as a line or as a path i would say and on this particular line only this particular path only i'm going to place lots of trees okay so let's go to dynamo now i have already launched i will open it now so here inside of dynamo what we have to do we have to select the line first select the model line first so for that we need a node called select model element or elements here i'm using element because i have only single element so click on select Oh, oh, selected here, selected now. Now what I have to do is I have to get the location of this particular line inside of Dynamo so that Dynamo can understand where this element is available or located inside of the project. So for that, we have get location. So element dot get location also works pretty well. Get location, click run again. So now I have the line available inside of Dynamo. So what I have to do now is I have to to divide the entire line into number of points so that on those points I can place my trees right now I want my entire line to be divided so that I have number of points that depends uh, on number of factors but here I would suggest and uh, here what I'm going to use is basically I'm dividing the entire line into segments right entire uh, line into number of segments so for that i have a node available which is curve, curve dot uh, uh points points point at equal chord length so i will select this so here we, i have curve right so here i have a curve which is a curve right so i'll just choose this curve and click run as of now without doing anything so what it did it basically divided the entire line this sp line into number of uh, uh like it's not segment i would say but rather there are points here right so what i'm going to use when i click on here or hover my cursor it will tell me okay there are 10 points which i have created by default which has been you know assigned by the developer who created this particular node right which is this curve dot point at equal chord length right what i want here i can choose myself how many uh you know trees i want to place over here so what i can do i can choose mine i will not choose 10 only so click here number and select number and then i will choose let's say uh, how many how many i need 25 okay and then connect here click run so it will place like 25 number of points over here and uh, let's see you see so these are the points which i have created so now i have the points with me what i have to do now is i have to place trees over these points simple very simple so for that what i have to choose is i have to type here which is family instance uh by point do we have yes by point and then simply point point and then family type it is asking me to okay please connect me with family type i can search for family type or maybe i can directly what i use generally is types 
that gives me every single types so here i have to select the family types from family types i can choose tree whichever i want to place the tree drop down and it is the metric oh we have rpc tree so we can select that so i can choose maybe this 5.5 meter let's select this and then family five to five type and here we have created a small script but very useful if we are going to utilize it for placing trees like many many trees right now let's try it is working fine so here we are inside of revit in the 3d environment let's try this by clicking on run amazing it works pretty well so you can see here right so on the entire line which we choose as the path we have number of trees at equal segment right but this works this particular entire script works for elements which are not level based or host based right uh, probably in the next video we are going to cover that i'm going to cover that and we are going to learn that this is a pretty much good script that will help you to place many trees so this uh, particular script works pretty fine with elements which are not hosted uh, on another element or maybe which is not constrained by another element for example placing a window inside of a wall it doesn't works uh, there uh, because wall is a host over there and the window is a hosted element right so here in this particular you know the topic which we have chosen here we don't have a constraint but rather a level where we have to sim simply place the element on a point on any z value xyz value right which is a point so it works pretty fine but with hosted elements and with host it doesn't works pretty fine right so for that point we are going to cover another topic another node another script in another video right so probably that video might be after this particular video uh, but yes uh, for simple elements it works pretty fine i will give you another example apart from this uh, trees only let's just select it and delete it right now and here just run it okay let's choose uh, let's choose chair and then attach it again and click run so see wherever we had the points those chairs are placed so it doesn't mean uh, that it is only for trees other elements also like the chair table and other generic elements like poles also uh, can be placed using this particular script i can choose the uh, number of divisions also here i can choose let's say 50 and click run so it will place lots of chairs also you see okay so that's all about this particular video see you in another video with another content until then keep learning keep watching physical shikshak and don't forget to subscribe the channel and sharing this particular content with others. All the best.